Burley So. Hello everybody and welcome back to Burley So. I'm your host Purified and today we're going to take a look at how to clean your sewing machine. Today's video is going to be done on a Brother SE400 embroidery and sewing machine but no matter what type of machine you have you should always keep it clean and today I've got a quick video to show you how. So the first thing that I'm going to do is just take the bobbin cover off and then you're going to want to remove these two screws right here. And then also to make it easier, I'm going to go ahead and remove the presser foot and the presser foot holder. And you do that by just loosening the thumb screw here on the left and that pops right off. And then I also take out the needle, that way I'm not going to poke myself, it gives me room to work with. So you're going to need a short screwdriver, uh, mine came with this little hand screwdriver, a little flathead, you can use a dime, that'll work great. And you just loosen up these two screws right here, and then you can just spin them out using your thumb, they're relatively short. And then you're going to want to just put those someplace safe so you don't lose them. And this is going to allow us to take off the needle plate, which is this metal piece right here that I just took the screws out of, as well as the plastic piece, which is the needle plate cover. Now you can just pop this off. It's two parts, but they're joined together with some tabs underneath. And it'll take a little doing. Don't force it. It'll come out freely. But now you've got your two pieces. This is the cover, and this is the plate. And now we have full access the compartment that we need to clean. So this opens up the next piece which is the bobbin case and that just pops right out of there. Um, you're going to want to make sure that this is clean. There's a little brush on here. Um, make sure there's nothing stuck in there. Uh, it's going to look a little worn um, unless it's totally without fabric on it. I wouldn't worry about it, otherwise you can get a replacement piece online. And then you're just going to use the little brush that came with your machine or any other little brush that you have and, and clean that out. Now I'm just going to go inside here and you can see the lint um, when you're sewing and the needle's pushing through the fabric, you're going to get all sorts of little lints that get stuck inside the mechanisms in here. And you just basically want to thoroughly clean the entire inside of the machine. But you want to pay particular attention to making sure the race, which is the part that the bobbin case sits in right here, is clean. And then there's also a sensor, which is off to the left, which I was just cleaning before. But basically just do a thorough job. Just do the whole entire area, clean the the feed dogs right here there's a lot of stuff that gets caught in there and it should only take a couple minutes um, if you have a vacuum you can try to vacuum it out um, I'm gonna go ahead and I've got a air compressor I'm gonna blow it out once I'm done cleaning this out but I'm just making sure I get all the visible pieces out first and it sticks right to my little brush here it's not uh, a big daunting task this should only take probably five minutes and you should probably do it every you know every month or so so here's the nozzle for my air compressor if you have compressed air in a can that'll work fine as well but just go ahead and take your air or your vacuum um, and get the you know anything that you may have missed and missed or loosened up in there and that'll be a good thorough cleaning and that's basically it. Now we're going to take the bobbin case and put it back in. You can see that it has a mark on it. This, the bobbin case has a little arrow right here. And that's going to line it up with a little dot that sits on the race. So you can see the little dot here. You're just going to drop the bobbin case in so that it aligns with this arrow right there. And basically, it only really can go in one way. You just want to make sure that you rotate it so that those two marks are lined up before you put it back together. And you can see I've got them both lined up there. 
The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the needle plate back on. And you can see there's a little ear here on the right that fits into that tab. It's going to fit a little loose because there's other little tabs that secure it once you put this needle plate cover on. And you can just fit those two together, lift up the needle plate so that it fits over the needle plate cover tabs. And now you can just adjust it to line it up with the two holes or the screws that you initially removed to disassemble it. Um, they're a little tricky to get in because they're small, but you just kind of push them down once you get them over the hole to get it uh, lined up and then give it a spin with your thumb and forefinger and then you can screw it in a little further with your thumb and then you do the same thing for the other screw. And really folks, that's about it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. This should help prolong the life of your machine and also avoid any frustration from maybe bobbin threads getting caught up due to excess debris down there. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. I try to get to those as much as I can. Um, I've been a little slow lately on making the videos. I hurt my back and it's real hard for me to sit for long periods of time, or short periods of time for that matter, but I'm trying to keep it going here. Um, please subscribe. I'm Purified, and thanks for watching Burley Show. So.